number of loans out the programs aimed at helping homeowners stay in their homes. Now, at the same time, the Treasury is weighing a proposal to limit foreclosures. Part of that plan is to let new home buyers borrow at a rate of 4.5 percent. So will it work? And our low rates what the industry needs right now. Let's bring in this lady, Danielle Babb, a housing expert and author of The Accidental Landlord. Good morning to you. Good morning. Or is this a good morning? Do you think this is the right kind of approach for the housing industry? Absolutely not. Okay, Th this why? is assuming that the problem is rates. We have had historically low rates for quite some time now. We've had the 30-year fix between 5 and 8 and 5 and a half. Mm -hmm. That's exceedingly low. The problem is the number of homes on the market and the ability to qualify. We already saw the number of applications when this was announced go up about 112 percent within a couple of days. What these people don't realize is that they're going to get an appraisal and the bank's going to want an extra 30 percent down because they need an extra 12 months reserves, they want a declining market value, and then they're going to say, oh, it's not as good as it looks. Well, so how many of these people, this 112 percent that, that goes in there, how many of them will actually have the credit to qualify, be mm -hmm. able to, to pull this off and get a home? It's been estimated at between 8 and 12 percent. We don't know yet. We'll, we'll know in the next 60 days, but it's going to be very low. Wow. Yeah. Um, but mortgage rates are falling. Is this the kind mm -hmm. of thing to entice people to enter this element of investing, buying a home? I mean, is it a good time? It's, it's well, we have, we have historically low rates, we have excessive inventory, and we have banks that are, banks and sellers that are pretty desperate. So yeah, if you're staying in for the long term, it's a pretty good time to buy. Um, if you've got cash on the side and, you know, if, particularly if you've taken out of the market and you want some place to invest it, not a bad time. Um, but there are places where you need to still be careful, like the high foreclosure areas, Nevada and Florida, for example. How do you see this all playing out in the next year? I think we're going to continue to see more of the same. Um, we're going to see the foreclosure rate go up. We know right now that about 20% of subprime mortgages are in default. We're starting to see an entirely new scam uh, come out, come into play, and that is people taking the, uh, the FHA options and actually doing the same thing they did with the subprime and removing social security numbers on pay stubs and the entire cycle repeat itself but with FHA borrowers. So I think we're going to see another maybe a half a trillion dollars in potential debt there um, in the next five years. I, we've got some time to go. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Danielle Babb, we're going to have you back again. We've got more questions coming your way. Okay. Thank you. Great. Coming up at the top of the hour, could the daughter of JFK...